It's almost formulaic. It starts with the emotional music. Quincy Fire Department, Lieutenant Ray speaking. Such a simple thing. Then the text. The message. I was diagnosed with pediatric cancer when I was 14 years old. Yet millions of people in the developing world walk up to six hours every day for water. Then the grand finale, the brand. Companies continue to use the Super Bowl platform to promote humanitarian causes either initiated or supported by their brands. It's a type of marketing that promotes feelings over facts. The ads are light on product details and heavy on emotion. You help save my child's life and the life of so many children. So I'd like to say thank you, except I would like to say it in person. Hi, oh my god, can I hug you? And so there's Hyundai, a South Korean car maker that has decided to donate a portion of sales to childhood cancer research. Stella Artois donated $3.13 to water.org for every limited edition chalice sold. Are these companies aiming for philanthropy or profits? The average cost of a 30 second ad during the Super Bowl was more than $5 million this year. And that doesn't count the expenses tied to making and promoting it, like the star power. Critics argue that if companies really cared, they'd donate money directly to the cause. Instead of a $5 million ad, promoting it.